Hi, and welcome yet to another edition of Computer's Conversation on Cleveland TV. My name is Frank Alidemuda, and if you're yet to sign up with us, please do so on www.cleveland.com. Remember that we are here to connect you to the entire universe. All right, we're still discussing Facebook Africa, Arusha 2023. And my guest this morning uh, is a, a, a musician, one of the musicians that will be performing at the event. Please join me welcome, Mr. Fololo. Fololo, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. I'm um, very, very delighted. Such a pleasure to be here. Mm. And uh, I'm really, really appreciating the, the interview because I know that I'm connecting to a lot of people around the world. Yes. Exactly. Good to have you on board. All right, please introduce us. So let's get to know who Fololo is. I guess that's your stage name. So who is the real Fololo? Ah, okay. Uh, my real name is really Suchiange. Born and raised in Kisumu, uh, currently in Nairobi. Uh, I started my musical journey uh, in high school, and uh, I started off as a as an instrumentalist, a dancer, and also a songwriter. But then, you know, I got into singing and writing my own music. Uh, I came to Nairobi. Uh, did my work here, then I went and stayed in Tanzania for like eight years. That's where, you know, I got my Tanzanian network from. Tanzania is like my second home, especially Arusha. I was in Arusha for six years and then I moved to Dar es Salaam for two years. So that is my second home. Uh, but I had to come back to Nairobi to, you know, establish myself back in my country as an artist because it's easier that way. So I came back to Nairobi in 2014 and I've been working ever since. And now here we are. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you tell us your experience of uh, being an African musician? The experience? Yeah. Okay, the experience of being an African musician is actually it's very good. The creativity, the creativity part of it is uh, a bit easier, but you know, now supporting the arts and uh, you know, uh, making, uh, making it real, like you know, production, Music production and video production is very costly, and uh, you know sometimes a lot of artists don't get to you know, get to where they're going because they lack the finance finances. Exactly. At least if you, have, if you don't have somebody to really back you and help you, you know, uh, fund for your for your for your projects, then it's very very hard. But you know, if you're lucky enough and you have the right people around you we support your, your talent, then things just move. Things move mm. smoothly. But it's not an easy, it's not an easy road. It's all right. So when you say celebrating black people, okay, and, and promoting African culture with your music, how do you go about that? Uh, to promote black people? Yeah, to promote the African culture and the black people. Okay. Through that's like, using your music now. How do you go about that? Uh, first of all, if you see uh, the name of my group, we are a duo. We are called Weusi Worldwide. The name of our group is Weusi Worldwide. So that means basically it's a Swahili word. Swahili word mixed with English word. Weusi okay. is black. So our music mainly uh, focuses on the black culture. And, you know, mm -hmm. we do the messages that are in our music are just celebrating our culture as a people and also educating our people you know to you know to try their best to you know keep moving forward you know help each other and you know just develop the culture in a musical way in any way that we can basically all right you, you you've been into music for quite a long time based on what you just explained and you've had groups to work with and all that can you share with us your most profound moments in your career the most profound moment uh, yeah, when I was in uh, uh, in Tanzania, you know, we had all this. Uh, I was in a music group called. Uh, I was in a band called Warriors from the East, and we actually that's when I I saw the peak of my you know my my talents going mm -hmm. very high because we had the chances of uh, of uh, 
our band got the best band, best reggae band in Tanzania mm. in different, uh, you know, competitions. Uh, we were carrying the, you know, we were carrying the flag, we were flying high the flag of Tanzania as the best reggae band for three consecutive uh, years in, uh, in, a, in a certain award called the Kilimanjaro Music Awards. And that kind of just exposed exposed me to a lot, you know, I had to, I was performing in a very huge crowd, in Moshi, Dar es Salaam, you know, it kind of exposed me. And also when I came back, we have, uh, we had a, a Nile, Nile festival in my hometown in Kisumu. And it was big and it brought huge artists that, you know, I've never met face to face, but I was able to meet with them and mingle with them. Uh, they taught me some, such and stuff, they shared the ideas, you know, so, yeah, those are my, like, my best moments, you know, uh, just doing big concerts and being able to. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. And like an artist, every artist has an, an inspiration, okay, the reason for them going into what they yeah. are into. For you, what would you describe as your inspiration in your field? Well, my inspiration, my inspiration is the people. You know, I look at people, the way people live the daily life, the resilience of, 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 of the humans, of the people around me, you know, you know, things might be hard sometimes, but people keep on going, you know. So you realize there's always a brighter day. People have hope, they have faith, days that, you know, are not yet there, but, you know, uh, they're hanging in there. So that alone, the, the human being, the human's resilience to life, you know, Beating all odds just give me inspiration to work on music and try to educate and entertain, make things a bit easier. You know, sometimes when things are very tough and people are very sad, try to cheer them up with some with some tune here and there. So it's, the people are my inspiration. It's all right. Now I I went through your biography and I'm uh, I'm not really listened. I saw where you wrote one or two things about your song Tamani. All right. Yeah. You, 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 both of you said yourself and your colleagues said you have a lot of story attached to that song itself. Can we hear the story behind the release of that song? Yeah, Tamani, the way it came about, uh, in my hood where I live, right here in Nairobi, it's a place called South B. Some people, some listeners might know it. It's very much, it's very close to town. So there was this lady that, um, I really like very much and uh, I was trying to approach her and she was really really hard to get. she was playing really really hard to get so I had to write this song I wrote, I wrote the song and then we went and recorded it and then I got a phone number and sent it to her and she she heard and when she heard she was like wow you are an artist you're a musician I was like yes I'm a musician I was like wow Maybe we can hook up, and that's how things, you know. So the song actually made a difference. Eh? So the song actually made a difference. It made a, it made a huge difference because after that, then wow. we had uh, we had one kid together. That's the effect of music. <laughs> Is it right? Is that right? The power, Lulu. the power, of, the power yeah. of music. I'm telling you. The power exactly, of music. it connects. Yeah, it connects. It connects. So it connects. And uh, I have a kid from that from that tune. It's mm. yes, all right, um, Fololo, we're glad to have you on board, but now we'll take a short break and when we return, we'll discuss First Pack Africa 2023 and your involvement at the event. Audience, please stay with us. Hello there. Looking for an African movie? Search no further. Cleveland African Movies TV is here for you. We are dedicated to the acceleration of African films, TV series, documentaries, and lots more. Explore our movies at home or on the go. Cleveland Movies is free to watch on Cleveland.com. Don't miss this opportunity. Hurry now. Sign up and subscribe today.
Hello there. Radio, welcome back. It is still Clevenant TV. And if you are yet to sign up with us, please do so on www.clevenant.com. But I will stay with uh, Pololo, a musical artist that will be performing in a Festa Africa 2023. So over to you, Pololo. How did you get in contact with Festa Africa? How I got into contact with Festa Africa, there is a friend of mine, whom uh, uh, a very good friend of mine is called Elias. He's in South Africa right now. Mm. I remember we were with him in the same uh, uh, same group when I was in Tanzania. And then he just reached to me one day, he asked me, hey, bro, uh, there's an event that is coming. It's called Festac. that had been happening in uh, Russia. It was an event that had been happening a long time ago. I put a stop to it, but it's back. And uh, the Festac group are actually looking for artists who can come perform. And I was like, oh, that would be a nice opportunity because, you know, I haven't been to Arusha for a minute since I left there. So I was like, yeah, yeah, if it's happening in Arusha, that would be really, really nice. So he gave me the contact, linked me up. And then after he linked me up, the rest is just history. Started exchanging things, material, you know, music, my catalog, everything that they acquired. And, you know, here we are. Yeah. So, so how do you rate how do you rate the events? Being how, an African project and, and you also being an African. How I rate it? Yeah. I think this is one of the biggest events in Africa, and it's very relevant. And I think we need it more in such such events because right now Africa is has been going through a lot, and uh, there's a lot that is happening, uh, you know, worldwide see all these people wanting, you know, coming to Africa, invest, you know, so you need as Africans to come together through the music, through anything, through cultural, you know, heritage, so that we can we can have one common voice, you know, we can be solid and unified so that we can we have more more we have more advantage when we negotiate or talking, we know what we want. The, those exactly. people coming Africa, you know, we can support each other as Africans. We have one common voice. So such events are very important and we need more and more of them. You know? Because Africa has been, as you can see, music is a very powerful thing. Like the Afrobeats right now has put Africa back onto the map. You know, even those other people worldwide are really wondering because Afrobeat is really releasing worldwide. It's a big, big thing. So I think Bringing people through music and, uh, you know, such things are very, very important. Yeah, so I think the impact is going to be great, and I think people are going to attend really, really much. All right, you are part of the musical group, which is uh, the WOSE um, Worldwide. What is, uh, what are your offerings at the event? What will the guests present be seeing you guys doing there? We are going to deliver 200 percent. Um, you know, we are very passionate about music, and we are going to give them a show of the decade. Like right now, we're getting ready, doing our rehearsals almost every day. Despite we have events happening also at the same time here, but you know, we are doing our rehearsals for that day. And we're going to give them a lot. You know, different. You know, different genres. We have our own genre called uh, African Good Bites, and uh, I think people are going to love it because it's something a bit different, but it's more African. Swahili mostly, a little bit of English here and there, but you know, good beats. So we are going to give them a show of a lifetime. That's for sure going to be lit. So how how how? How ready are you guys for this great space? You know, you are going there not just for yourself to represent your group alone. You are going there to represent every African musician, every African artist rather. So how ready are you to, to carry on this and great space? I think, I think, you know, this is the event that we've been waiting for. 
This is the event that we've been waiting for, and we are more than ready. And we are going to give it our all, and it's going to be super, super, super. You wait and see. I can't say much, but I can tell you that we are more than ready. This, we are ready when we were born. This is what we were born for, and we are happy that we're going to do such an event with so many Africans coming to it together. So we are going to be, we are going to pour our hearts out to our fans, yeah, and possibly win more fans, and you know, even get more festival gigs because everything we do has to, really yeah, everything we do has to bring something else. Yeah, there should be a continuity. Continuity, exactly. All right. So, what message are you leaving for the guests that that will be coming to that event, and for those that would have interest in coming on board, but due to one reason or the other, they felt it's not really worth it and all that. What is your message for those kind of people? My message is uh, less. Let Africa be one. Let Africa support Africa and uh, try your best to be there because you never know what kind of links you might get because there's a lot of different people from different parts of the world, different parts of Africa. You can get very good links. So just come and, you know, let us show love to one another. Let us spread the message of peace. Let us spread, spread the message of togetherness, one unity, and let us be us, let us be Africans and express ourselves to the fullest and show the world what we have, beautiful culture, heritage that we have. So please, please, please be a part of this. Find a way to get to, to Arusha on the 21st of May, because there's a lot that is waiting for you. That's beautiful. You are in the musical field, and uh, if you agree with me, you realize that most African countries are not, uh, most African artists, they are not at favor, or maybe even such opportunity like you and your team have uh, actually got it now. Most of an uh, African artists are struggling to make ends meet. Some have even opted out of the profession because of lack of finance to project their visions and their dreams. And for such a person, for every African musician going through one top ten or the other, what would be your recommendation? Yeah, I know, I know it's it's tough, it's not easy. Even us just being in first half is by you know luck. Mm. But I can see that you know God is there and you just have to work hard on the craft. You know, when it seems like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, something will come up. Keep on working hard on your craft have faith and uh, try as much as possible to link up with fellow artists from different countries you know, be friendly mm -hmm. you know socialize network uh, however hard it is something will always come up do like collaborations you know with the people you know you can maybe you have a good song but you don't have you know uh, finances for studio production you know approach an artist you know established and they, they'll hear you. If you have a good product, always people will be willing to hear you. you know? If you have good something good, people will hear you. They'll give you an ear, and if they like it, they'll bring you on board. You know? So try as much as possible to socialize with other people. You don't be on your comfort zone as much as possible. Just try, you know, be free, socialize, talk to people, you know, while keep on, you keep on working on your craft. You know? don't, don't stop keep on walking and one day things will just open up like a day for us. Mm. So in encouraging these are upcoming artists and do you think the government, the African government have a role to play in this? And if you do, what would you recommend? I think the African governments have a huge, huge role to play. You know, they are not supporting the music as much as the music and the arts as much as they should. They're putting a little emphasis on it, focusing mostly on the politics. But we all know that music and arts, movies and stuff is what gets the other people to know our culture and it also brings a lot of revenues, you know. Exactly. Like you see a lot of African country uh, artists are constantly going to Europe, the US to perform very big events you know, making so much money. So it means that the government should just 
put a docket, even a ministry, for acts only, and really make it possible for artists to access it and use any material that they have there to propel themselves to the next level because the artists are the mirrors to the society. They preach what the society is doing. And if you listen to the artists, then you know what's going on in a specific society. So the governments should come in and try to, you know, build these artists up so that they can express exactly the ills, the problems in the society. Then even the government will know where to fix, where the problem is. But if they don't do that, there is like the government is in the dark. Nobody is going to tell the government the truth, actually what is going on on the ground. No one will tell the truth. But the artists will always tell the truth. See, because they are the reflection of the society. So the government have a key task to play. And I hope that one of these days they'll see the sense. Because believe you me, music is, is the most, is the hugest faculty in the world, you know. So the, the, the sooner the better. Okay. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Okay, now we are looking at you and definitely there's going to be like after first back Africa 2023. All right, now, what are we expecting from Muslim worldwide after First Act Africa? After First Act Africa, uh, uh, immediately after First Act, in June, we are launching our album. We have an album and we have an EP, so we are going to do both of that in June. June, yeah, we do the, the album in June, and we have a series of gigs, you know, uh, Leon's Ponce, Institute, you know, these organizations from outside, they are really good in promoting our cultures here. They are, they are doing their best. So we have a lot of plans. We have a lot of plans. Thank you so much, Mr. Kololo. We wish you all the best. And thank you for being my guest this morning. Thank you. I hope you are going to come. Are you going to come to, to be with us? In a, Definitely. You know? We'll certainly be there. Thank you. We'll I'll, appreciate, I'll appreciate it. See you. See you there. Thanks, my friend. Thanks. All right. That's all we draw the curtain for the day, audience. Please, if you've not yet registered, please search online for Lord. First Stack Africa um, organizers and then sign up to be part of this event, either as a vendor or just as a guest. So next week, we, we come your way with another edition of this program. I will remain frank. Thank you.